Pisces, welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be for the sign of Pisces. It is not going to resonate with every single one of you out there. This is also not Sun, Moon, or Venus sign specific. Any Pisces placement that you may resonate with. Some of the messages may also resonate with you. Personal reading information, any jewelry seen, linked and listed in the description. At the end, we'll pull some oracles, give you some more guidance for the week. Pisces, let's go. Very quiet shuffle this week. Okay, Four of Swords is your first card out. We have the Four of Cups, the Three of Cups, two fours. Um, Libra also got two fours. So, uh, some sort of healing, rest, meditation, or break was taken here in the past. Looks like whoever this is, this could be your energy. This could be someone that you were dealing with. Yeah, someone chose to take a break. Someone used their free will and exercised um, to sort of take a break from maybe a connection with somebody. The lovers is usually some sort of connection, whether we choose to participate or not. Looks like someone chose to take a break from participating. The Four of Pentacles, I mean, the Four of Cups, though, I don't think it's the same person that's in this Four of Swords or um, Four of Cups. I guess whoever chose to take the break, the other one is in this Four of Swords sort of energy, Four of Cups sort of energy. I'm um, really thinking about the situation, healing, meditating. Um, the Four of Cups is about discontentment, though, not really being happy with the way things are going. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Let's see how many we got here. A lot. Okay. Um, somebody wants to come back together. Friend, family member, lover, whoever it is to you. Heavy emphasis on whoever it is that you have recently taken a break from or separated yourself from. They're not happy with it. They want to move away from whatever break that you... They want to get back on the path to having a good time. The Three of Cups, this is about good time, celebration. Maybe by the next holiday. I am filming this on Valentine's Day. Um, but some of you, this could definitely be a friend that you no longer speak to that kind of wants to be friends again. The judgment is all about situations that we have put to rest, sort of resurrecting themselves. Um, the Eight of Cups is walking away from any sort of emotional baggage, which is what I think has happened here. We also have the King of Cups. Yeah. King of Cups, Five of Wands, Page of Wands, Page of Cups. If any sort of apology is need is, is warranted, you will receive it with the Page of Cups energy. Some of you might not be expecting this person to be reaching out. But with the Page of Wands here, I do get a reaching out Sagittarius energy. I do get there was some sort of um, conflict this is why somebody chose to walk away here. It was too much. It was it was just becoming too much. But there is a reaching out. And I do get this is someone you want to hear from. This is someone you wouldn't mind hearing from. The Page of Wands is all about good news. So this is someone that you absolutely despise. This is also telling me that this person has been very conflicted as to whether or not to move, uh, whether or not to reach out. Looks like they're going to do it anyways, though, because I do get they want to move forward. They want to kind of get back to the place where you guys were having fun and enjoying each other's company. Bottom of the deck is the Ten of Wands. Yeah, it's becoming too much. Life without you ain't shit. <laughs> Life without you is is not, is not you know, whatever sort of conflict was causing you guys to sort of not be on the same page. It's not worth the, it's not worth the absence of the connection to this person. Nine of Cups. This is all about wish fulfillment. So someone, and progress. This is what someone is going towards. Eight of Cups can also be a sense of, um, yeah, emotional baggage, but it could be from this situation. Whatever went on between the two of you, there was some baggage emotionally created that's been kind of keeping the two of you on your own ends. But this is like someone's like, F that shit. I'm, this person means a lot to me. And if I need to forgive, I do get a sense of forgiveness here that someone needs to have or is willing or is wanting. It's not worth the strife. It's not worth the drama. I want my friend back. I want my person back. King of Cups is someone that is very loving. Someone that most likely is a lot of love for you. Could be out of the blue too that all of a sudden they kind of just pop up and send you a message. Maybe by the next holiday. But this is not over. The same free will that was exercised to walk away. Someone else is now, the other person is now exercising their free will in order to try and salvage the connection because that is their wish. Something they've been battling for for a while. Whether or not they should reach out or not. The world card, um... Further um, confirming that something absolutely ended here. Could be because someone was not open emotionally at the time. Could be due to emotional baggage. But it's almost like the situation has created even more emotional baggage for the person. So it's like, you got to pick your battles. Very much a, a vibe of um, picking your battles, right? Which battles are worth fighting? Which grudges are worth keeping? Which bridges are worth burning? It looks like someone is realizing that they this is not a bridge they want to be burnt in whatever capacity. There is love here, whether it's romantic or not. Lots of cups here too. So a lot of um, emotions has been invested most likely into the connection with this person. And I think the realization is I don't want to lose this. 
F this Five of Wands, Honeymoon. And that one also flipped out. Forget this Five of Wands, forget the drama, forget the conflict, forget the ego. Let's fix it. Let's get back on good terms. Enjoy the bliss of holiday times together. Yeah, I was telling you. This Three of Cups is definitely giving me some sort of, um, I don't know, you guys could be taking a trip together or just by the next holiday. This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. I think this is, if this is romantic, I think this is what this person is realizing. Whatever you guys were arguing about before, it's not worth the argument. You are their person. Your connection, their connection with you is way more valuable than the than the argument. And a retreat at the bottom of the deck, which is, I think is already kind of where the, the situation's at. There's already been some retreating. Time to disconnect from the world. Okay. Guidance, please, for Pisces. And, uh, that's your energy, Pisces. Yeah, someone wants to start over. They want to start on a fresh page. With all this page energy, they want a fresh start. Commitment. Things are getting serious. Things are getting se serious. I need to fix my cards. So I think someone may want commitment. <coughs> Maybe that's what the arguing was about. Whether or not a commitment was going to happen. And you're like, you know what? Keep your commitment. I don't want it. You can keep it, but this looks like not wants to be given. You make someone happy, though. Nine of Cups definitely makes someone happy, even if it's a friendship. If it's a friendship, this might have been someone, uh, a friend that you, uh, you know, hard, they, they, hard to depend on. Your hard work is paying off, New Moon and Capricorn. Hmm. You're very close to achieving your goal. So, I don't know, maybe this person wasn't supportive of something that you were working on. There was a lack of support in some way. Hard work is paying off. Could also be this person's willing to put in a lot of hard work in order to sort of get this connection back on track. You're very close to achieving your goal. So maybe that's the message for somebody. They want to they wanna get things back on track. They got to work. They got to put in the work. They got to prove that they can be depended on. And that they can handle conflict. Or, you know, they're, they're going to be willing to have hard conversations. Because that five of wands could just also be um, communication issues. Not uh, communicating effectively. Because communication is two-sided, right? The communication and the comprehension and the listening. So, guidance for Pisces, please. One card for Pisces. Okay, three cards, cool. Trust the Nego. What is the Nego feeling trying to tell you? I do think someone's being guided to reach out and kind of drop the pride. Double mission, channeling, uplifting humanity. Dance with life. Do something to change your energy. Yeah, this is kind of tying back to the Three of Cups. So this is someone you've had very much had good times with. Very, very much have good times with. And I think that's why this person is like, is is this really, is this argument worth throwing this away? So this is an opportunity to sort of um, evolve. Tend to the small things. Mouse spirit, number 40. Four is the energy of protection, which is your third four. This connection could definitely be protected. This person could be very protective of this connection as well. Especially if it's a friend. But this is like nip things in the bud before they get too... Before they get unnippable. And a rebirth is assured. It's time to open up. More energy of change with that five. Yeah, you got to get things while they're gettable. If you wait till an infestation happens, it's going to be a lot harder to deal with. Especially, you know, with that five of wands, the ten of wands energy. This is like someone that might have been a little bit um, avoidant. They didn't want to deal with things in the beginning. Could have been very avoidant. But they do realize if this doesn't change, there's possibly a missed opportunity here. Your wildest dreams deserve a chance. Some sort of karmic lesson here with this um, Saturn energy. Someone's definitely learned some sort of lesson here. Also could be what this evolving is about with the Four of Swords as well. Minor lesson, but a lesson nonetheless. Okay, that is your reading, Pisces. Hopefully it resonates with you. Thumbs me up. Don't forget to subscribe. See you guys next week.